Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. I know, you're shocked. It's so surprising how much time this game uh, can suck out of your life. Uh, in a good, good, good way? Good way, good way? It's a good way. I think it's a good way. Uh, we are going to pick up where we left off on the starter factory. Uh, we have everything uh, being sorted almost. I think screws and some copper products are not being sorted and uh, we have to balance some of the iron coming in. We were wrapping up last stream with a little bit of the cosmetics around the area and also uh, trying to figure out the balance of the iron and some of the other products coming in. So we'll have to look at that. Uh, Snuggly, Boo Bear, Dan Grice, Cosmic Dancer, all hanging out in chat. Oh, Boo is here too. Uh, good to see everybody. Uh, we had a busy day. It's been a very busy day. I have been podcasting since I got up this morning. Uh, we did a special bonus episode on the Spun Chunks called The Quarterly Hangout. That's where we go over the facts and figures of the download numbers, the YouTube metrics with our uh, patrons over in the Spun Chunks, and we did that this morning. And then Johnny and I were invited to guest spot on the Imp and Skiz podcast. So that's Impulse SV, for those of you that are in the know, uh, a Minecraft creator on Hermitcraft. Uh, and Skizzleman is also a, a Minecraft creator on Hermitcraft. Uh, both of those guys do it full time. And they have a podcast together called the Imp and Skiz podcast. You can find that by name on YouTube. Uh, our episode was only just recorded this afternoon, uh, but that will be out soon. And I'll be plugging it here on the channel as well with a link when that comes out. It was a really fun conversation. Um, Impulse has been on the Spawn Chunks a number of times. We brought him on as a guest early on when we started the show. And uh, then he filled in for Johnny when Johnny was on vacation this summer. So I've done a number of uh, podcasts with Impulse, uh, but this is my first time meeting Skiz. Uh, the dude asks some really interesting questions and we had a really fun time talking about podcasting. So if you're interested in podcasting, if you want to know a little bit more about how the Spawn Chunks works, how Johnny and I work as a production team, then I think the Imp and Skiz podcast would be a, a fun episode to check out. It was also really fun. They're really a, a good you know batch of guys and they're a fun crew to, to hang out with and uh, everybody's got a good sense of humor. And so it was a really fun episode. I think that you all and will enjoy it. Uh, I have to stop and say thanks to Snuggly Boo Bear, who just jumped in with 100 bits to kick off the show. Thanks very much. Uh, and thanks very much, Cosmic Dancer, for throwing the link to the Imp and Skiz Podcast YouTube channel in chat. It is indeed Imp and Skiz Podcast on YouTube, so very easy to find. Um, and check out some of their other episodes. They've interviewed some fantastic creators over the last little while. Uh, some of my favorite hermits have, of course, been on the show. Uh, and they've also interviewed other creators as well. And they just went to TwitchCon. And so their most recent episode, or at least the most recent episode that I saw, uh, was them at TwitchCon talking to all kinds of people. Um, but yeah, it's it was a fun afternoon. And uh, I don't know how I'm still talking, but here we are. Um, other people are like, Joel, uh, have you met yourself? I, I mean, sure. It's not an accident that I do this for a living, right? So let's get in the game and see what kind of damage, I mean, progress we can make. It's also weird when I'm doing that intro that I've got the factory noise kind of going in the background from the menu screen. I don't think you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. And so it's a little distracting. And it is dark here on the planet. Uh, I guess we will be doing some some puttering here. I, uh, I do like the way that we've got this laid out up here. I think what I need to do is maybe create some more permanent signs. Uh, these are too small to read. <laughs> so we are going to... I think replace this uh what are we gonna do i think we're probably gonna replace this with a pitcher right that's probably the better way to go do we want a big one that might be a little bit too big oh some a b testing is required let's make this something more interesting than just a picture of the thing why don't we do I do have Autobot Blue as kind of like a nice background color. That might be too loud. Uh, maybe we can do... Maybe we do blue for that one. And then we do white for this. Oh, it's doing that thing where it grabs the one next to it. And we'll do plates. That might be too bright. 
I don't know if that looks good with the uh, with the red. Might be a little bit too light. Maybe I need to reverse that. Maybe we need the blue here. Oh, that time it worked. So it seems to be a bit of a bug. Only on some of them, apparently. Hmm. I also feel like that might be a little bit big. Let's try something different here. Let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with the background. Actually, first of all, rather than driving ourselves crazy, let's go with this instead. And then... Do plates. And then for the color, it's just the background. And I guess we could try the red. I mean, that does look cool. The problem I find with the signs is that when you light them up, it washes out the actual image, like the actual image of the plates. Well, that's better. We'll just go with a low emission, maybe. Take it easy with the chatting, says Dan. Never. Oh, it's almost like I talk a lot or something. It's, you, my family is laughing at all of you right now. And friends. Yeah, I'd say we probably go with that size. I don't think a billboard would be worth doing. Plus, we could maybe add some extra stuff. We'll have to do the little shimmy. I'm sure I will change this over time. Screws. We decided to separate uh, wire and cable at the end of the last of the stream too. I always want to say episode, but that's not the case. Um, reinforce iron plates. Yes. Oh wait a minute! I forgot to do that. It's a bigger image too. I just realized that. You almost want to have these uh, out sideways as well. You know, like when you're looking down this way, you almost want to have like a sign that sticks out sideways, like like this way, right? I wonder if that would be worth. Oh. We'll revisit that when I've got more time. Oh, why is it sideways? Did you guys see quartz bouncing around? That was weird. Why is this all of a sudden not not working. That is really strange. I hope they release another quality of life update. I feel like there's a lot of little little bugs like that that could really fix up. Hey, Delara, how's it going? 
You made it almost at the start, yes. Still, no one is ever late to my streams. Far too casual. I like that we have staters now. It's so nice. Motors. Beams. For anybody wondering, I'm using Control C and Control V to paste the sign settings. Saves you a lot of time. having the signs do all sorts of things it has been quite annoying yeah Delara right like it, especially if you're trying to decorate with them like we're just doing them for labels but if you were trying to decorate with them I think it'd be a real problem how is it still so dark what is is it the space elevator that I'm in the shadow of maybe that's what it is it's like why am I still in the dark I know it's sun sunlight out right now but I think it's the space elevator Require. Offer sheets. We need to move those. And this is a bunch of other stuff. This stuff, I feel like plastic, quartz, and rubber. We can fit six icons here, I think. Yeah. Plastic, rubber, quartz, concrete. We'll leave those signs up there because this is just a manual box. Although, I really need to find another place to put the concrete, I think. So we'll have to work on that. Sweet. Okay, so that's done. Makes it a little bit easier to find stuff. Now, what do I have a lot of in my inventory that I don't need? I certainly don't need all of these encased beams. Put away some plates. Screws are full, but I've got this garbage can now that I can just dump stuff into.
I feel like cable was either full or close to full. Yeah, these, this is a lot easier to see. And I'll actually grab some quick wire. I think I'm missing rotors. Staters. And I've got motors. And I'm almost, what else am I missing? Uh, beams. I'd like to have two stacks of those. Okay. I'm sure the, the game will let me know if I don't have something. So, uh, what I wanted to do here is start to get a good shape as to what's going on. And I feel like, even though I've been working from the other side, I feel like this is going to be a pretty key view of this building. Uh, I think as we approach from either here or elsewhere in the biome, I feel like this is going to be a pretty cool look. And so I want to try and use what we've been doing with the transformers and their overall shape design to try and inform how this section is going to be. And I think the building is going to have two sections. I think there's going to be a high section at the back. And I think there's going to be a, a certain shape to the section. And I really like the shape of uh, Wheeljack's head. Wheeljack has got this very distinctive uh, kind of like cheek lights that he's always had. Uh, and it creates a really unique shape. And I think what we could probably do is use that shape for windows. Uh, and then maybe have some other stuff in between. Uh, I think that's how I want to do this. But I don't know whether I want to do that shape from this side or whether that would be better off on the front. It might be better off at the front. Well, we've got to get rid of these, too. So it might be better to have, like, that kind of trapezoid shape happening here. And there. And then we could have those, those windows would be like this giant slope that would go down. Actually, that would probably work better. And then we could do some other details at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'll work because I think that will also help inform like the um, how the floors are going to attach and everything and we sort of got this nice like angle happening here that would go against what would I would want to do going up that way so if I was to look at the center here is it this there's it's not one it's three I think this ramp is actually wrong I don't want to do this I want to have that ramp. So we'll have like that and that. And then this goes down two. And then it turns. And goes down again. And I was thinking it might be kind of neat to have it actually turn back in on itself. I don't know that we'd really need it to do that. It feels like a little bit of a waste, but it means that it doesn't come out here into the, um, the land so much. like that's a kind of a cool looking front entrance so we can make that look really fun and it is kind of like an echo of that shape as well especially if we don't have it go to a point like if we have this go to like an actual foundation and we change this like that and then put a ramp on top of it right
can sort of echo that shape we had before. Actually, I guess at that point we'd be using the same ramp again, wouldn't we? Oh, did I not? I guess I didn't. Oh, I did it there. So you start to get a little bit of a an idea and we could put some details in there I think that works pretty well I don't know whether we should have this be something that goes up like that or not that feels a little strange Still learning to build like that i think the, the key is to really think big and think depth so i always give myself rather than thinking about this as a wall i think about one of these as a wall and we don't have to use these like this i could easily use um different things here for walls like pillars whatever like if i didn't want this wall to be a full eight meters thick i could just use these um these guys right i could just run a bunch of these together and get a cool looking wall that doesn't add like a ton of depth uh, or shouldn't say doesn't adds depth but then doesn't rely on just those half meter thick walls so we can do all kinds of stuff like that um, we know that this has to be a functional part of the build this tower so I want to I think try to realize where the top of this might be so I need to put something over the top of this I don't want to go too much taller here. I don't think that's really necessary. I'm glad I've got these guys in. And somewhere over here I have... Yes. I find it usually handy to have one of these around. You can kind of pull from the four meter... Four meter increment grid vertically your life is going to be a lot easier when it comes to like making roofs and things so if we want this to have a flat ceiling probably a skylight down the middle and then this is probably going to be solid uh, we want to pull from over there and i would say we'd want to go up one We can always drop the ceiling down a little bit. Uh, ooh, this is another reason why I wanted to do this, because this might clip. Or just might not clip. Man, that's annoying. Those things are huge. So I may want to go a little bit higher than that. Uh, especially because that's going to angle down from the sides. So yeah, we're going to want to do higher. If I wanted to have glass... As far as like roofs and stuff, I feel like it's worth doing um, what I call contour lines. Like think about a profile and then extrapolate from the profile. I feel like that's almost the right, the right size. I'll have to look at another angle just to kind of see if it's worth it. We might, we might want to go a little bit steeper. Where did I start that? Need my middle here. So it's only two. Oh, that might not work at all. 
We have to go at least three. So it's like, again, asymmetrical inside, but trying to make it symmetrical outside. We're gonna have to build, build bigger. So right away, I think the one on the left is maybe a little bit better. Although his, in some of the versions, he's got, he goes straight out from his temples and then it goes down at an angle. Although that's a weird, weird thing. I think I prefer the the OG look. Although I guess the angle is really quite subtle. So this could be the better way to go. Hmm. The other side would give us more room. Uh, either way, I have to come up by another foundation. So... Yeah. I may also want to come down a bit. So I think what we'll do is... I kind of like the angle of that. I think it needs to be a little bit higher. We'll use that side. Basically, I want to be able to come down, down straight, and then back in at an angle. And see if we can get that connecting to the second floor. But I don't know if we have the right angle piece for that. There's no upside down wall for two meters. Our walls are only four meters. What I should do is I should update the thumbnail. Let me just see if I can grab this. I believe the old thumbnail is Ironhide. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. I like this one the best, I think. That's a little big, maybe. Hold on. Let me just make sure it's not taking up so much of your screen. Do people like that up there all the time, or do they think it's more of a show-don't-tell sort of thing? Is that too much on screen? Low 88, good to see you. Yeah, so we'd have to come over by one, and we think we want to be a little bit higher as well. Man, I like this new jetpack fuel. It's great. One, two, three. Two, three. Although, I guess we're up higher. Do we need to start back there? Ooh, we just cut by. Oh, that's the four. Hold on. I want the two. So that does give us clearance, which is good. I prefer that. we start up that high and that should give us clearance over the this guy here yeah okay and maybe we want these to stay sunken in I don't know 
that could be a fun detail. We might end up going with more than just two of those in the middle. Definitely needs something in that area, so let's see what we can do for matching that up. For that, uh, I would have to maybe figure out what the edge is going to look like. Is that in line? It is in line. What is going on there? Oh, that's an angle. I want one of those, sort of. That doesn't give us a lot of room to come back in, does it? There's nothing to say that this space can't be outside. It's sort of the right shape. I feel like I need to pull it in though. What I was hoping to do was was go up from there. And the weird thing is like this is a higher angle, but like that actually works for some of the more contemporary designs. I was hoping to go up from here. Leaving this space kind of available to do something like this. leaving this open and then have I guess we could try another I don't know if they let us do this anymore I don't think they do no um, from here I guess I guess that just becomes hard to reconcile because the weird height that that is and I'm not moving that because that's all my storage yeah that's too pointy I guess we could use foundations it doesn't have to be a wall You've never played the game before, Jarg8323, welcome in. Uh, it is a factory efficiency game. Yeah, it's the right shape. I just don't know how we connect it to the bottom. And I think it's cool, but I, I think it's just a little bit... I don't know. Maybe this has to be an outside pedway. Like, maybe, maybe the inside of the building starts with this red inside here. And maybe this is all external? I've never really thought about having, like, it is a really cool view, so maybe we could just have, like, this be the outside. And then this would just, I guess, exist in here? It's part of the structure, and then this, I guess this would have to be more supportive, right? Uh, 
I don't know. I guess this would have to come out to there. I did did prefer having that farther back, but There's a giraffe like monster? Yeah. Yeah, there's the, um, I think it's called a tick. I can hear it. There it is over there. I dislike them. They just get in the way. That's okay. It's a little boring. Uh, I would want that to be a little bit cooler looking. And what I would want, I think, is for this part to be the glass window. So the window part would probably be here. And we don't have angled windows. That's the other thing that's real tricky. So I'd have to like fake the windows. I really wish they gave us angled windows. Yeah. These are the windows we've been using. And that goes up to the right height. Lucked out there. But then we can't go all the way over because this is going to connect at a really funny spot. Right? So at some point, we have to start doing an angle. And I believe this is the 2 meter. We can at least keep it fairly simple. Well, that works. Just not on the end. See, that part's the annoying part. Uh, I, I'm sure people have been calling for triangle windows for a long time. This is going to show through on the bottom. Yeah. That's no fun. So for that, we'd have to go back the other way. This one, what we would do is use the same thing here. I might have to delete this briefly. That's the wrong one. Uh, how are we going to do that? I'm thinking if I can cut it off somewhere here, I might be able to make it work. If I can get... I mean, there's still going to be that gap, but I might be able to somehow come up with something. I mean, I could also just fill this in with the wall. Right, we just do this. Once that's out of the way. The distance at which you can like grab an object is really, really cool. 
And then we can just grab the other upside down triangle thing there. So it's just those triangle spaces that you have to kind of figure out a way to do something. Now that takes away from the shape though. So it's annoying. that becomes an issue and the only thing I can think of would be maybe there might be something we could use in the foundations that would be like uh, or the architecture that might be like an overall sort of thing like it's the wrong angle so we don't really have that ability yeah that's tricky uh, is that factory Ironhide? That's the Ironhide one over there. So that's Ironhide. This one is going to be Wheeljack, which is the thumbnail that you see in the top left-hand corner. Um, larger image is Wheeljack. He was like always the mechanic, the like the home base kind of technical guy, like the IT guy. So I thought our home base would be a good, good place for that. I like the shape. I think it's just the details that are snagging me up. And I'm not entirely sure about this part. I think I like the idea of having this be more structural. But like this is where we could potentially have even some pillars. I thought it would be cool to have more of a door. Maybe this doesn't need to be here. Maybe we can have... Well, I kind of want access to that, too. I feel like this should be the wall. Uh, yes, you need the items to build in blueprints, Dan. If you look uh, in the blueprint designer, there's a little chest. I don't know if I can see it from here. But once, you, once you've cleared the blueprint, there's a little, uh, right next to the blueprint kiosk, see the little red chest? Oh, that will have all of your stuff in it. So you can get it back. But it's, yeah. It's weird that in the blueprint designer, they, ask, they need you to have the stuff. But I think the idea there is that that way, in early game you can't design stuff that you don't have access to. Like, unless you have quick wire, you can't design a quick wire thing. And I think that kind of keeps players from getting overwhelmed and tripped up. Usually by the time you've got the blueprint designer, you have enough stuff. That's usually, usually how it rolls. So I think, I think I like that. The problem is I'm having trouble reconciling like, how this is gonna go. Here. I feel like this should be a corridor like I like the idea of that having more of a space to it and I kind of wanted to do something different I'm wondering if this would look better if we had like walls that went this way how am I gonna do this from the how do I get a pillar and work the way that I want Is it a wall? Yes, that's what I want. I 
I thought that would be kind of a cool way to do the wall. Externally, at least part of it. Like, that looks pretty cool. So you'd come up here. And this may or may not be here, but then this would be part of that depth. And that could be at any depth. We could put that wherever. So if we wanted this to be a little bit wider, we could run that. Mayan Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate it. As always. I sort of feel like the entrance needs to be not like one block wide and that's why I think these would be great because we could kind of like do like a meter and a half. Like that could be a fun fun entrance i mean we could design it in all kinds of ways maybe it's not even pillars maybe we do full-on foundations right whoops add some depth to it but like once you start layering stuff it gets real quickly and uh, I like it a lot it feels very sturdy when you start using foundations for walls well those are only two meters whoops I don't know about that peak, so maybe we want to go with more of like a trapezoid, so you can come back over here, temporarily put that in, attach that to there, do that, and then you can sneak one of these guys in the middle. That starts on the half. Oh, no, wait, that would be a whole foundation in the middle. And we could actually go with two meters and then a two meter ramp. Inverted ramp somewhere. Stream time is that one hour. Thank you very much, Cosmic. I think because we started off at nighttime, I'm just going to wait for the sun to go down. But that's, uh, I appreciate the heads up. Oh, that's not quite as cool as I thought it was going to be. I wonder if I can overlap one of these guys. Nope, the other one. Uh, this one? This is probably not going to work. Holy crap. I did not think they were going to let us do that. I 
Alright, that's pretty cool looking. I'll roll with that for now. And that was on the actual wall section, so that should be pretty easy to mimic. What is happening? There? Oh, I see. I don't need these. And that's cool. That means I should be able to just attach this right here. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Like I said, depth is your friend. I might not go four tall just because that starts to bite into that shape up there. But then we have room over the front of this. Like we could use this as like the cool metal background. And then if we wanted to add shapes over top of it, we could. So like if I take this away and we bring this out. don't know how we would want to actually do this. I don't think that's the right solution. This probably wouldn't be open. We would end up probably with like a some sort of wall here. How is the factory building noise? It's, is it still loud? I wish I could turn it down more, but then the game starts to sound kind of muffled. Autobots roll out, exactly. That's that's the idea. I definitely want to evoke. Uh, the Transformers vibe. I think this is just going to get brought forward. I think that what I don't like about this is the fact that this is so far back. I think we maybe need to have this up front. Right? But if I, th if I look at some of the shapes that are in Wheeljack in like his body armor and stuff. So like again to bring this up. He's got like these overlapping bits on his feet and there's a lot of um, kind of trapezoid, the trapezoid, it's, it's just whatever a triangle is with um, the top cut off of it. It's like a, it's almost like a pyramid shape, but not really. He's got some points on him, I have to say. A lot of the transformers have a little bit more of a squared off feel. Um, and he does have wheels, like he does have those round bits. I think we're going to put those in the back. Those are going to be challenging to do. But I feel like um, we could probably do some of the paneling. Like some of the layered paneling that he's got. Um, sort of like up here. So if I wanted to do this... Could have this be, I don't know, start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Generally, I don't like starting things in the middle, so maybe we'll do here. And I can get this to go right. Oh, this is this attaches right to those? Oh, sweet. I didn't realize that was a thing. What I should do is start here and nudge it back. Oh, those are off. Interesting.
that's the other one that I want. Yeah, how do I do that? I want to go the other way. So we can create some paneling here. Could be interesting. But now that I don't have the sunlight on this side, it's really hard. And we've got some asymmetry happening, of course, with this this window. And then we could kind of bring these forward. Don't think I want to put them like right in there. Now, unfortunately, I started from the wrong spot. So what I should have done was started from here. Right, so then you can have that be a frame for that tower thing. I need to start using a different default color because I mean the red does not scream wheeljack. I think we have to start with white. And I'm not crazy about those colors. I think I'd rather have this be some sort of blue. crazy about this bit at the bottom. It feels very boxy. But again, I want that to go out forward. Oh, we've got that um, pure white as well that we can try. Oh, it's still asphalt. Whoops. Uh, let's do... Did I say asphalt? I meant asphalt. Um, this one. And concrete. Uh, concrete. There we go. Not bad. This feels like a big swash. Like I feel like we need to break that up a bit. And that could be some sort of vertical, vertical color or some sort of detail. I mean, it might be better to have more walls in there and just have this kind of show up in between. So like what I'm thinking is we grabbed a wall. Do I want it there or Oh, can I not? Can I not? Okay. That's so strange. It's not letting me nudge it left or right.
Like it could be cool to have like little strips where it's visible. Now that it's nighttime, I do have to take a break. I will of course be sticking to the normal break every hour. Uh, I try to line it up with the sun uh, in Satisfactory so it's like every 55 minutes or 50 minutes, something like that. Uh, but do stick around. I'm just going to grab another cup of coffee and uh, we'll be back with more designing and if I can't get this to really line up, uh, I will probably move on to try and sorting out a little bit more of the logistics. But I do want to figure out like what the internal space is before I start trying to figure out what we can jam into it. So uh, give me about five or seven minutes, folks. I will be right back.
Okay. I think what I want to do is I want to pull the overall shapes down the line and see if it is where we want it to be. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, one, two. Okay, how did I make that mistake? So that's the first thing I get to change. Or at least I'll pull this one forward and see if we like it, I guess. And where do I want this? Probably here. If not, maybe a little bit more forward. I guess having this be open air would be kind of cool. So maybe we'll actually pull this all the way out here. Although that does kind of leave... Yeah, that makes this kind of difficult here. And where did I start the up things? One, two, three. I don't know that we can do that on this side. Um, no, that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does not work. Oh, right, because this is in a different position. How do we handle this? I think maybe I just have to make the roof taller. I think maybe I have to think about a starting position here or something like this. Uh, no, the other one. Uh, architecture. I always forget that glass roofs are in architecture and not in the roofs or like in the other section. So if we do that, and then we add some sort of height difference to it. That's where maybe the foundations will come in. No, that has to go back further. Uh, maybe we can change the angle there? And then I think this is just going to have to get taller. Yeah, my coffee sometimes takes longer than seven minutes too, can can. <laughs> that's why I'm often late coming back to the show. Um, so I'm feeling like that's a cooler look. I just, it now means that that has to get taller. Do we like that? Do we think that looks like... Yeah, it's not, I'm not quite nailing it the way that I want. 
I really want it to start from here, I think. Maybe it's this underside that I have to be a little bit more um, aggressive with. But what if this... I don't want that to be really any lower. Well, I could make... I could start it higher. We can go up here. Use a 2 meter instead. Still gets us to the same point. And then from here, I can do this. And then we can just decide where we want this foundation to actually start. doesn't quite have the same vibe, does it? Maybe I need to just get rid of this undercut thing. Maybe that just has to not be part of it. Maybe we just need to take it straight across. Maybe we could suggest it with color instead of actual form. That could be the thing. Hmm. Well, this needs that. And I need to switch my main color so I'm not building in this right now. Let's go standard like that right now. How does escape not exit your menus satisfactory? I remember that from before being frustrating. So we've got, from the middle, we've got one, two. So one, two, and then we have to go one of those. And that really only works on a different height. Oh, no, it's the same height. Is it right? Yeah, okay. I do find the challenge of building big in this game is um, trying to see like what you're doing without having to back up for a country mile. It's, I find it very challenging. Enclosing the factory is the most challenging part, yeah. So having it too far forward like that is not good either. I think we're too far towards the front of the building. This I feel like I can overlap, no problem. 
I say that famous last words. So I guess we have to meet in the middle somewhere. Which means probably here. Uh, which means this is going to have to be a different roof. Yeah, and we can't really, there's not a lot we can do about these windows. Like, I have to come up with a different way, because that is always going to be a hole. There's nothing I can do to change that. Unless we come up with something we can cover that part of the window up with. Could make this thicker. That's the only way I can think to do it. That's not awful. I'd want to maybe clean it. I don't, I don't want to have these weird divots in it. Like I wish we could do that with straight panels. I do find the game gives you these shapes, but then they stick you with these textures where you're just kind of like, do I really want that texture? And I don't think I really want to get into using beams in this context or pillars, because that would just be an insane pain in the butt. I just don't like the fact that it just looks like it's sitting on a box. I was trying not to make a box. <laughs> I was trying to not do the box thing. And this is going to have to be covered up anyway. There is a glass roof somewhere. It says flat. It's not actually flat, but... So this is the kind of thing where we might be able to uh, get a wall in here. Now, why it's not letting me maneuver it? Oh, I guess because it's on a wall. Uh, let's do not a window then. Mm. Place it on this side. Nope. Same problem. Hmm. 
How do I place this where I want it? Dead in the middle? Looks like it's dead in the middle. So that's the idea, but obviously I want it to line up. I think that looks okay. things to this anymore? What's going on? There we go. So we could finesse that a little bit. Like I've built two. That's okay. I think I like seeing that. I would like for it to be a little bit busier. I might amp it up a little bit just for fun. Uh, so then this place here. Concrete walls are fairly smooth. Been using that a lot lately. Yeah, we've got the special kind of pure color on them too. It helps. It's not the coolest looking. Did I go down farther? One, two, three, four. I did. I started out farther, I think. Yeah, I think what's missing here is a dip. So what I would like to have happen is we'll use one of these. may not work with what I want to do. I may have to bump that farther down. Because we can do this, but then we'll, we're stuck with this overlapping, which I may or may not like. But then what I was thinking is that we could have this also dip. Like this shape with like the, the angle with the little tip on it, I feel like it's pretty good. That is just an illusion. But if I do this,
Takes away some of the boxiness. Um, I was hoping to channel that down though. Only the one. So what I was thinking here is that we could get rid of this part. So that it's not a box. That just becomes like some interesting background. Um, and then from here, don't know how we figure that out. That's the only trick. I guess inside we'd have to do that. I like that. I like that look. I think that's cool. That probably doesn't close the gap. Uh, it does, just a little bit weird. I mean, it doesn't... doesn't matter? Transformer rain gutter? Maybe? No? Mm. We could probably put a light in here. We could probably put some signs or something. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Or maybe we just mount a light, like just mount a spotlight that shines up at this thing. That could be cool too. But kind of like where that's going. I also like that it the um, the one meter um, the one meter triangle here, like this one meter triangle here, echoes that angle. Even though I was potentially getting rid of that, maybe what we need to do is bring this out forward. Foundations. Uh, I do find there's a lot of trial and error in Satisfactory, and sometimes you just have to mess with it until it works. I think some of that is like, I'm just so used to something like Minecraft, where I've got so much experience being something that I can quite easily get what I want, and Satisfactory is just, it's not that. It's, uh, it's a lot harder to get what you want. where this ends. You're not going to let me do that? Oh yes, okay. It's too much, too tall. Landing on these windows is always tricky. right yeah I think a light would be I want to light this from below also mental note layering windows is a cool effect if you ever want to do that and this is where we might be able to get away with one of these corner roof pieces I don't know if this is really going to work. Uh, what do those look like? Doesn't have to be glass.
Need something else for it to attach to. Found it? what I had in mind. See, now here, we could do this. Continue that put one of these back here. And it's not really going to work. If I could line that up, I could make it work. Again, like depth is your friend in these situations. This just feels very strange, this kind of flat section there. I feel like we might want to have this go up and then have like another angle on it. That may be how we solve that. Again, it's just hard to make them not look like a barn. I think I like the top part though. Silica? I am out of silica. That's no good. That is something we are not making a lot of. And if I am making it, it is nowhere near here, so I should probably think about putting like a temporary constructor up here for doing stuff like this. We may have to go get some more quartz. That's the other thing that might happen today. Bins. Not convenient at all. Silica. Do I have any quartz I can turn into silica? I think so. Not a lot, though. I need to go check to see where I've got quartz. I might have to go... What I should do is steal one of these um, dimensional depots, and we'll go set up like a temporary quartz mining facility at the site. I thought I would have put it in one of these little side bins here. No, not a zip, zero, nothing. Okay, well, pretty much out of quartz. <laughs> now we're doing for tickets. Six. That's actually not bad. Considering we're not using the, the sand fluctuators anymore, we're just kind of throwing stuff in there. Uh, 
we have all of the lights. That's good. Uh, we have... I could get uh, unfinished paints. I could get the coated concrete, although that costs plastic. That wouldn't be a bad idea. That gives us more decoration options. Metal roof was only three. I don't see us needing that right now, right now so that's fine. Walls, I don't care about those so much. They're not as sci-fi. Uh, railing for one. I would say probably we might even buy some computers. What is, how much do the computers cost? Six tickets. That would be the whole thing, so that's no. Uh, we're probably going to grab that, and we're going to grab that. Oh, that's four? Yikes. Uh, we'll take that. Let's not do this one. I don't tend to need that very often. That means we've got four tickets left. Maybe we'll do the unpainted. Or I could do metal roof and something else here that takes one ticket, like architecture. Hmm. Metal roof and railings or railings and unpainted finish. Let's go with that. Done. Actually, that's space elevator parts. That's blue. While I'm over here, I'm going to grab some of these. And here's the side of the building we've been paying no attention to whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, do I have stuff in here, maybe? No. Just gas. Gotta remember that. Green for gas. cool news is that if this continues on we'll have a decent view oh silica again right I have to not do that right now this is an odd kind of thing to have So that's why this might be something better off as flat on the side. So even though we've got the angle here inside, it might be better to have this just go flat because it would give us a lot more room as we need to expand some of this stuff. And that means, of course, that all of this could be could be glass once we get past the wall part. And we could keep the same shape, like just because just because this is glass here doesn't mean it has to all be glass. Like we could have some of our uh, wall shapes here. 
Uh, let's go with... Pro tip is to, um, use one meters on the sides because it gives you lots of placements for these. Uh, how do I want to do this? And then I can switch to this one. gonna go lower by one so even if that's a window oh that doesn't really work well it does if we go from the top down because then we could bring it down into the space. Start there. And then instead of having a window all along here, we could have like a high window. I guess the thing is you really got to look at it like where these four meter things connect so if we just did this lower that by one more then all of a sudden we don't have that overlap to worry about i have to close the gaps these lines have to go with like in one or two meter increments that probably wouldn't be there this to me just feels industrial barn shaped and that's why I get a little bit, feels terrestrial. And I think that's the problem is I'm trying to make this look extraterrestrial. Very bland on the edge there. The red doesn't help with the barn feel either. That's okay. Like I don't mind don't mind this. And we can have some fun with some designs and stuff later on, too. that design consistency you know although I guess we'd have to have a stripe here too and I don't think I want to run well I guess you know that's not the end of the world and for this uh, that goes through the other side so maybe having a hard stop here wouldn't be a bad idea
That's cool. I think you mentioned before, uh, the more hard square edges you have, the more it will feel terrestrial. So maybe square corner is what bothered you just a thought. No, you're probably right. No, you're probably right. This, like, yeah, that's not my favorite way to, to fix that. So I need to have more angles. Really what could happen, we could maybe bring this all down at an angle. The, the tricky part is just making sure that it flows into the other side. I also want to make sure this feels supported. And I also like, there's no roof here. Like I don't, I haven't had that even, that hasn't even crossed my mind as to how to do that. So like we can grab one of these. That doesn't necessarily look the best. I feel like there's the flat roof option. Mm -mm. Still feels very open. That's good. Well, oh, those don't take silica. That's good to know. That's probably why people use them so much. I feel like that's a a good feeling storage room you know happy and open and very does feel very modern i guess i think we're getting there i don't know that i've mirrored this correctly i think i've got it wrong yeah, that side's shorter. Yeah, which side do we like better? Oh, thanks, Snuggly. I appreciate that, yeah. I think the other side probably has more potential. Again, it's just that weird barn shape. I also need to think about like the foot. So I, I really need to get rid of this stuff. This stuff is also a problem, right? Can I just take this? Yeah. How much is left in there? Not a lot. What is this? Oh, right. Okay. I can probably do something better there. Let's get this out off the building for now. And can you connect more than one of these? is too uneven. Oh, you can... Well, I guess this is the first one. I don't think you can connect... You can't connect two. Oh, it can do three. No kidding. Okay. All right. This will just get this out of the way. I like the white one. Good. It does feel funny going straight off to the side, so I'm going to try to move it a little forward here. Maybe have it close to the space elevator where it would make sense. That's a lot farther from this than I thought it was going to be. one 
Get rid of this one. What's in here? Coal. Now I should be able to use my auto sorting box to put some of this stuff away. Looks like it's working to me. We have to use one of those. Yeah. This is a little bit weird. I don't know if I like this little triangle. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm still not sure if I want to mirror this on the other side. I don't know if I have the room. No, I don't think I do. Uh, it might, it might clip. Oh, totally clips. Yeah, no, we don't have the room. So I want to do something here that would be more unique. I mean, maybe what I could do is have this sort of thing. Uh, how does that go down? Starts here, but it's a half foundation higher. Very close to clipping. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's close. Yeah, the machines are just a little bit too high. And that feels too low. So that's kind of funny. stuff like this we'd have to take all the way down probably again the red and white is very autobot like I'm not too worried about that and this is a total accident but I kind of like the slit like that's not bad uh, thank you for the heads up cosmic yeah the sun is going down quite soon so we'll probably take our break when the sun goes down I think to, for a change of pace, we'll go set up the quartz 
after the break. It's good to set out and do that during the daylight too. So um, what I'll do, sun is going down. Let's take the break now. And then when I come back, I'll prep. And I'm pretty sure the quartz is that we're going to use. I mean, there's quartz here. And it really doesn't matter because I'm not planning to do this in the dimensional. Like, I'm going to use the dimensional depot. This is farther away, but it's more open in terms of the quartz. It's also pure. And then these ones are pure, normal, and impure. I feel like these are both pure. Nope, pure and normal. So this is the same. There's actually a little bit more over here. You just, you really can't do much with it. You kind of have to take it elsewhere. This is going to be ideal for a train, I think, to pick up. Uh, but we can probably run over there with the jetpack faster than we can take the tractor now. The new jetpack fuel is great. So I'm going to do that, I think. And what we'll do is I'll choose one of these dimensional depots to stick on the top of it. Unless we find a Mercer Sphere on the way. Uh, either way, give me about, uh, I'm going to take like a good 10 minute break here. Just, I need a, a, a break for coffee and stuff like that. You should too. Uh, make sure you get a good stretch. Uh, and as per usual, I tell a friend, uh, I'm trying to grow the channel and just like podcasts, uh, there's a lot of Twitch streamers. There's a lot of podcasts out there. So if you can tell a friend that we're streaming, maybe, um, send them a link on Instagram or on discord, uh, or on Twitch or Twitter rather. Um, it's just at Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. And I would really appreciate it. So I'll be back in about like eight to 10 minutes.
Holy crap, total eclipse. Thanks for the raid. My goodness, that must have happened just as I left for a quick break. Uh, that's incredible. Thank you for bringing the people over. 557 people. Uh, that's a huge raid. Uh, thanks for the follows, everybody. My goodness, really appreciate it. Let's just get somewhere you can actually see what we've been building here. This is one factory, that's the smelter, and this is what we've been doing. This is our starter factory. Let me just try to find a better vantage point before I switch over to the new, the other camera. Oh, get up. Okay, perfect. Not bad. Uh, I need to switch over to this. Uh, James Irwin, hello. Thanks ever so much for coming in. Frecker Kirks. How do, how do you see how do you say that peak timing probably the the break raid uh mike's vibe welcome in uh, i'm sure total eclipse was playing satisfactory and it sounds like total had to go gonna be eating dinner but we'll be lurking uh enjoy the stream all thanks very much total uh folks in my chat uh, i have rated total eclipse before uh please go and follow them if you have not already uh, they're on youtube as well uh there's also Total Eclipse and More Total is the stream VOD channel on YouTube. Uh, so what's happening in this build? I will show you exactly. Hex, just give me one minute here. Thanks again for bringing the peeps over, Total. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, everyone in my chat is probably already following Total, but please go do that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, lurking. Perfect. Sounds good, Total. Uh, and CP, hello. Welcome in. Uh, thanks for saying hi, everybody, and thanks for sticking around. You've probably already had a long stream day with Total. Uh, let's switch over here, and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, so we are doing uh, satisfactory builds based off of Transformers. You can see a little thumbnail of Wheeljack. Where's my up? Nope, that way. Uh, in the other corner over there. Uh, I've got a kind of a, a vision board, a bunch of images from Wheeljack that I like. And so we're trying to get kind of the, the shape of his head like he's got these kind of wing nut things on the side of his head. I'm trying to get that worked in there. I'm trying to do some sci-fi shapes. I'm trying to avoid making it look like a barn and a box. <laughs> so it always starts off looking like that. And then I try to chip away at it and make it look not like that. Uh, but we've got some uh, cool colors and some cool shapes happening over here. I like this kind of stuff. I'm not liking this kind of stuff. We're very in the early phases of trying to figure out how to get the windows working. And I'm out of quartz. So we're probably gonna have to go get some quartz. Uh, and figure out what's going on there. Uh, but I like some of these trapezoid shapes, these elongated um, hexagons and, and octagons. And uh, on the inside, actually, this is all just our basic starter bits. Um, we've got everything from wire, plates, rods, concrete, uh, everything all the way over to motors is being automated in here. The only thing that isn't is copper sheets and screws. Screws are possible, we just don't have the iron routed to them yet. So I have to balance that out. Uh, I don't know why you're a little slow. This should not be backing up. This should be all overflowing. I guess maybe I've got too many things coming in here on the storage system. Nope. Maybe I need to find a faster belt somewhere. That's weird. Those rods should not be backing up. Anyway, it's all kind of coming in through a various uh, array of belts and balancers. And then we do have underneath the uh, wall here. This is the wire feeding the rotors and stators. And then this is the uh, uh, overflow belt. So this is all the extra stuff. We're building like just a little bit more than we need. And so all of this is going down here and gets sent up to our um, sorter for systems. Uh, we don't quite have enough depots for everything just yet, uh, but we are storing all of this right now. Uh, rods are obviously full. Yeah, so I haven't designed it. I'm just kind of slowly, as I get happier with things, I create a more permanent design. Uh, we're working with some whites and some reds and a little bit of green uh, as per the, the wheel jack colors. So I'm still trying to go through the process of tidying things up. So we've got some of these beams and tidy electrical here. And then we've got 
not so tidy over here because I have not figured out exactly what to do here. I was still moving some belts and things around, so some of the stuff might end up shifting. That's why I haven't finalized the decoration yet, but that's kind of where we are. And I will show you the smelter as well. Apparently Total Eclipse heard you say, bring friends. Yes, you're right, Snuggly. I agree. Uh, so this is the Ironhide smelter. And uh, we base this off of the other Transformer the, the last few weeks. This is Ironhide. So particularly his um, abdomen there with like the, the glowing insides. Uh, that's kind of where I got the idea for this pattern for the front. Uh, and the rest of it was just kind of like Cybertronian looking stuff that made it look like a Transformer. This is when it is going full tilt, which it looks like it is. Uh, this is uh, 900 iron ingots per minute. So it's all three normal nodes in this area are going through a blueprint, which I think, no, that's a forge um, or the foundry. So the blueprints are inside and I'll show you inside as well. Uh, everything is underneath. It's all got a subfloor. Uh, I decided to leave it open so you can kind of see what's happening, see some moving parts. I thought it looked very Transformer-like to have like an exposed kind of innered workings going on. Uh, and then everything um, smelter-wise is all up top. Unfortunately, my smelters don't glow. Like I'm missing the texture for some reason. Um, here's the underbelly. Lots of shiny stuff. And then up here, not quite sure about this ramp, but this is our, our smelter array. So it's noisy and smoky. As you would expect we've got some nice design coming through here some of the new steps i quite like having the walkways connect to them this worked out very very well and this is a blueprint of uh, five each that i mirrored and did a few times so it really has come together nicely a uh, couple of things changed as far as the paint goes i might have to like i don't remember what color those were i think those were supposed to be black That seems right. I feel like a lot of this was supposed to be black. I changed a couple of the palettes. And it changed a couple of things in here. Yeah, that feels more like what it should be doing. I got a little bit uh, ahead of myself and started painted the, painting this before I had it all sorted out with the swatches. I still don't have all my color swatches, but at least I've got my, my grays and my blacks and my whites. Yeah, that feels better. Obviously I've missed this side too. I think this looks better from the outside as well. I really like these new windows. I think they're cool. It's hard to find stuff that doesn't look terrestrial. We were just discussing this before the raid. It's difficult to find parts that don't look like they're from Earth when you're trying to design alien looking stuff. CP Kello, I feel like you've been here before. So the question is, do we want to bring a miner out to the quartz and then drag my cable all the way out there or do we want to um just use a biomass burner to see how much quartz we can get into a um into a dimensional depot i 100 percent switched a a black swatch to a white swatch by accident why all this is wrong that's better. More iron hide. Less weird white barn. But I'm pretty happy with that. I want to do some stuff up here. I think I might like recess a splitter or something in there. That could be kind of fun. Everything else looks very much like a work in progress. Probably yes, says CP. Cool. Uh, I need to dump some inventory because I do not want to take all this with me. So question, uh, should I bring power all the way to the quartz or should I just bring a biomass burner and just see how much quartz I can stuff into a, a bin? I feel like that's gonna be the least time investment. So let's do a biomass. Well, I'm gonna need a miner organization. I'm gonna need 
a mark two. Oh, let's do a mark one. 15 versus five. I feel like I can only upload at the same rate that this can go. So we'll go mark one constructor. Do I even need a constructor? No. Because I don't want it to turn into quartz crystal. I just want the raw quartz. So I just need a bin. Big bin and dimensional depot. I will need a Mercer Sphere. I will probably just take one of these depots. Which one of these depots is not a priority? I would say probably cable. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this one. Gives us some room to build. And I am going to need biomass. That's the other tricky thing. There might be some up here, but it's probably all turned into fuel. Can a biomass burner... I'm assuming not. They can't burn biofuel, right? Oh, they can do package, package biofuel. Oh, sweet. That's even better. Uh, just the one. That'll do. Sweet, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, it's probably faster for us to run out there. Yeah, let's just do it. Why not handheld miners? Um, oh, I've got those in here, pretty sure. Yeah, I've got six of them there. I can do both. I can fill up my inventory. I'll put those down while I mine. And then... We'll go from there. I feel like this is probably the closest one. Just to stick something into the... The Dimensional Depot. Because we've got other things to do while the quartz builds up. And I can just turn it into whatever I want. So how is everybody uh, enjoying their Saturday that came in with the Total Eclipse Raid? Did you guys have a good time with Total? What was Total working on, by the way? Was it more train stuff? Last time I watched a stream, it was the, the oil nucleus build, the round circle thing. And it was he was trying to balance the train fluids that were coming in. What I should do is get my object scanner. Did that work? No. There's something nearby. Where are you? My guess is up here. Oh, no? Okay. I can hear it. They're harder to see than they used to be. Is it underground, maybe? Aha. Gotcha.
I would have never seen that. I suspect there is a misunderstanding. The effigy and I are different entities. Discordant, what is your root? I am an instantiated artificial intelligence inhabiting digital space. I am in the signals sent between satellites. I am hosted on servers and have no corporeal form, only synchronized cloud platforms. The effigy is not an effigy? It most certainly is, but not of me. They are, how should I put it? Extremely flat. Compatible music. We are writing new symphonies. So bizarre. So, so bizarre. Pure. Okay, we'll do this one. Uh, foundations. And I need miners. that's going to give me 120 per minute and I certainly don't need that much we are just going to put it in a bin so we'll do one of these big guys That never seems to go straight. I don't know why I can't seem to get that to work. So from one to the other, you have to go from bin to that. It happens with constructors too. And then we'll also put the dimensional depot up here. Our upload speed is 30 per minute, I think. I don't think we've upgraded it since. So we'll go with one of those. You know, I can afford it. I might as well just feature proof it, right? Why not? Not that we're going to ever get there, but that'll be fine. And then I just need to power this. And we'll just do a biomass. Super easy. And this is only going to take what, like five megawatts. And I don't even need it to do 120. Our upload rate is only 60 or 30 we could take this down to like i guess i should do more than the upload speed i should do it at 60. so that's going to take even less power and that's it right that's all we need you get 100 of these and you just start shooting stuff out um, when the bin fills, the burner shuts off. Yeah, exactly. Oh, max it. I see what you mean. Yeah, that's a good call. So you're thinking I should do a heavier... Should I bother with a, a Mark II miner then? Or should I just do this? 300 per minute. I can't get the most out of a Mark II miner anyway, because the belt, the only belt speed I have is 480. I feel like 300 a minute should be fine. No blown fuse, depends on how often you're going to use the quartz. Zoom, zoom. That's a good call. I wish this would give us like a, you've got this much left. So we went up to 16, 
Well, here's an experiment. So this with three is above 15. So I should do a Mark II Miner because I feel like a Mark II Miner, I could just leave on its own. That's going to do 240 on its own at 15, which is less than the 16 point whatever that we were just at. And that's almost the same as what we had. I could put in one and get 360, but that's pulling 25. So I think we're better off kind of a balanced power. I'm just basically decorating with glass windows and stuff and just I'm not getting enough quartz. Uh, we should be getting some quartz in here. And the thing is, once this shuts off, this bin will just auto feed without power and then I don't really have to worry about it. So really, I guess I just want this to be as full as we can before the gas runs out. So that's it. Done deal. I had no idea these were in the game until I saw them a couple weeks ago. I was like, what on earth is that? They're very cool. I wish there was more like that in the game. I wish there was more variety. I mean, the ticks are everywhere, and they're not nearly as cool as those. That would be a good overhaul for them to do, like an update to the game where it would be just like a bunch of flora and fauna. Not that it really, I guess, enhances the gameplay, but it would just enhance the immersion a little bit. Uh, the mark on the fuel gauge... Uh, says the burn rate, I guess. I think we've gotten all the Mercer spheres over this way. I actually came out the right way this time. I always get turned around. Yeah, I like the, the new mob too, Cosmic. Ah, home sweet home. I don't think we have any more tickets, do we? Nope. Okay, so I think what I need to do is reconcile this shape and start to try to move forward. I can use temporary roof pieces to try to get the outline. Um, I feel like I should focus on that side and then mirror it because we've obviously got more going on. So I did this incorrectly. There's more foundations here. So this comes down and goes straight to the outside, and unfortunately on this side, it's very flat. I don't dislike it, but it's not very interesting. So on this side, what I was hoping to do was, was bring this back in, but then that means this is very flat. So I may have to raise the roof. Either way, I think we should probably run the wall down here. Make sure I remember that I want to have an entrance here. Is that three or four? That's three got this at four. I would want this to be larger. Like this chunk. And that's why I think I have to raise it up. So 
So if I wanted that to connect to something, I could do it either there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that connect? Probably not. So that doesn't give me enough happening there. I created these walkways, but then I just forgot entirely what I wanted to do over the top of them. Over on the other side, I think the glass goes over it, right? The roof is on fire. Thanks, Kay. Yeah, see over here, it just goes all the way over it. Although we've got this here. Maybe I don't want that there. So that's just too boxy for me. I feel like what I want to have happen is another angle, probably like there. But then that, I think, gets too low. Like, that to me is not what I want here. Yeah, I feel like that's too much of a cramped space. And I don't think that profile is great from the front. That's the shape that I kind of want. I just think in order for this to look good, I have to I have to raise this up. Yeah, it sort of works. I could also go straight out the bottom. I don't have to have this doesn't have to have an angle on it. I could just go straight. And that would give me a little bit more room over there. Yeah, and then maybe we can come in with like an angled beam or something. So what if I took one of those, stuck you there. Invalid placement. Why is that not? Oh, you can't place them on those? Huh. Uh, I guess I'll use a one meter roof part. does not do what I thought it was going to do. Four meter wall. I wish we had walls that were uh, less steep than that. This is what I wanted. Unfortunately, that goes a little bit far. But you can sort of see what I'm getting at. And that's not the right angle. We might want to go with a steeper angle. But 
then what does that look like inside? If it doesn't come down all the way, then it could be okay. I'm gonna guess where it would aim at. So I'd say half a step up. That was a good guess. And that would stick down here, but not by a lot. And I could probably do something here with this to make it work. Oh, I messed up. I kind of like that. I like this. But maybe what we should do is use beams instead. Raise the, the roof by another meter, you mean? I need I wanted to work with the the glass. That's the tricky part, right? Oh, raise the roof. <laughs> it's on fire. Yeah, I think for clarity it just has to be a little bit bigger. So this is too low. Minimum would be there. And then this would have Oh my gosh, no it doesn't. Okay, hold on. That might be just... It's just, it feels like a head, like it just feels like a shape stuck on top of a box. And that's the hard part, I think, for me. What I should have probably done was have like an angle that came down all the way to there. I wonder if I can do that. Build a four meter wall, then place a one meter above for a foundation. Um, build a four meter wall, then place a one meter above for a one meter foundation to fit like it with the one meter wall part. A little more height. Sorry, I don't follow. It's like redstone instructions in chat, too. I feel like we need to see more of this.
I just don't want that to be over a box, right? So I feel like this has to be out here somewhere. The front not being where you want it, and maybe it was the depth, but it might be easier to envision the back part if you get the front more to your liking. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. I like, I like this little bit here. The problem that I'm having is is getting th like this angle. So I feel like this has got to be pushed up. But then it's just like, I just don't want to have another straight line there. I want to do something different there. I've kind of shot myself in the foot. You know, um, in terms of like this box that I've got here. And I guess I could change this with depth. I don't have to start. Um, I don't have to worry about this being too flat. I can add stuff to this, you know, to bring it out, you know, beams and pillars and stuff like that. But I think this having to have like a kind of a minimum four meter height. Plus, I've also got all this stuff that I was working with, too. Yeah, like I, I feel like I want that to go down, but obviously I can't because I want to walk in there. What did I do over here? This is not bad, it's just a flat roof. One, two, three, four, five. At that height? I dropped it. Yeah, I dropped it. Or I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's a ramp. That's why. This isn't too bad. It's just this feels low. And these could be windows. I understand that. I just don't think that this shape here from the front is going to look all that good. Obviously, I can do the same thing there, and that's fine. It's just having this minimum height here. That's an issue. I also had originally thought that I was going to have like a corner piece on this to make it look a little bit sturdier. So all this here was meant to have more oomph. So I'll remove that temporarily.
one thing I've been considering for folks that just came in with Total is um, paving the parking lot, uh, paving paradise, like not having any grass at all, just like put foundations everywhere. It's definitely something I'm considering. And this is the height that we're thinking of, although there's still some stuff in here that could be destroyed. Like, this could help a little bit. So that helps it feel a little bit less like a barn, you know, like more spacey. I think just from the ground, it needs to have a little bit more shape. Uh, working on mimicking the white bulky parts with the thinner black sections. Yeah, I mean, it's the shape of his head that I'm trying to mimic. So the the wings on kind of like the sides of his of his head, I just thought are kind of iconic. So I thought I'd try to create that shape there and that shape there as best I could. The problem is we can't see the bottom. And so it's a little bit flat. So it might be worth pushing this up, right? I don't, this So here's the thing. As a Minecraft player, I get kind of, I, I avoid tearing down and redoing a lot in Satisfactory, and it's dumb because you can do it so quickly. But my brain just thinks like, this is going to take forever to rip down, and it takes no time at all, right? So that's one thing I have to think about. I also want to keep on top of my quartz. Stream is at three hours and a bit. Yes, thank you. Um, I'll probably take a break now that the sun is going down because it, it does get really hard to build and I want to try to do a little bit more technical stuff today I think maybe I I'm a little bit stuck and I might want to focus on some things that are not changing like where these belts are where this iron is coming in and I need to I need to balance and do some stuff in here so I think what we'll do is when it gets a little darker I'll take a break and um, I will come back and we'll start to sort out a little bit more about what's happening with the um, the function in here and I can worry about the fashion later or I can also take the time and add in some more of uh, this kind of stuff because we're we're still doing some ugly ceiling power and I would like to avoid that if we can so we can still make it look good on the inside a little bit because again like all of this I'm not I'm not moving that I'm not moving that also not moving that so the shell can change but this stuff is going to be the same uh, as best I can. I also, I guess we can do glass here too. Keep with the pattern. While we've got the sunlight. That is not soup.
It does sort of look like Christmas. <laughs> it's the only thing with all the green and the red. A little, it's a little Christmassy. I think I like the white and the walls inside too. Or do we want like a red stripe around the top? Hmm. It feels like a candy cane. <laughs> Maybe we'll go gray. Not. Is that the light gray? still looks a little bit funny. It's not as high contrast, but... I do sort of like the red railings in the middle, though. Maybe we'll keep those. White stripe with gray walls. That's a possibility, too. I don't mind that. We could also, I keep on forgetting, we could actually apply, like, carbon steel might actually look like it's part of this. Again, it's hard to tell with the lighting changing so quickly. That's almost black. Unpainted? Carbon steel. And chrome. The unpainted looks pretty good. It's kind of a harsh contrast. The unpainted sort of looks like it's more like the metal. Try to get some lights in here too. Either way, not red. I know that much. I feel like this could also be painted. And we're starting to finally lose the light. Good chance to step away. Thanks again for the reminder, Cosmic. Appreciate it. So there's not a lot going on. Uh, I can leave you guys in here watching stuff flow by. But it's probably more fun to watch the skybox. And hey, lasers. So uh, folks that are coming in from Total, uh, I really appreciate you sticking around. Thank you ever so much. I take a break once an hour. It uh, gives me a chance to stretch, uh, refill the coffee, that kind of thing. So uh, hold on tight. I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
All right. Don't need that. Actually, I'll probably put that up in the atmosphere. Um, where did it go? There it is. Get some more quartz. And somewhere over here, I set up a little constructor. Need a little bit more glass. Need some more silica. Silica. Need. Probably do that much, and then I just need to power you. Somehow, somewhere, somewhere. That'll do. And you will do the thing. Perfect. It's just boxy. <laughs> it's just boxy. So uh, let's instead take a look at this back area and see what I can do here. Uh, obviously, this is going to... I mean, this is something that doesn't have to be closed in. We could totally leave this open. Uh, I think that part of it has to be closed in to make it look sturdy. But then we've got these cool shapes that we've been messing with. Um, so I can cover this up. And let's say we want to go... How many is this? All the way to the entrance. So this will probably also be solid here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even numbers suck. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put a three in the middle. Or two in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. It's four, so we can probably do... Maybe one of these. Um, that's kind of cool. Spike up into the other side? It probably does. Oh, you can barely see it. Sometimes I just wish the shapes would be a little bit nicer in terms of how they overlap, you know? Uh, no, it's a uh, wheeljack. Um, wheeljack from, I want to say that's Transformers Universe. Here's a bigger look. So the top right is more of a Gen 1, although that's more like a comic book Cybertron, not so much Earth um, thing. And then obviously the car at the bottom is a Cybertron car. And I don't know, I think the one in the middle right is fan art. And then... The one in the middle, the big one with the gray background, I believe is from this War for Cybertron games or the War for Cybertron concept art. And then I don't know if I watched Transformers Universe. I might have. Um, some of them got kind of kiddy, so I didn't really get into them. Uh, but I want this to be an entrance. So this is probably going to come out a bit for the sake of some clarity here. Maybe we'll do this. I guess I could do this too. Don't want to cover up this power though. Where's the power coming in? 
this is coming from, so it's coming from over here. Yes, okay, let's do something better than that. I could run it on the inside, but I kind of want to make sure we've got something else happening here. Let's just put something here for now. Something central and easy to remember. This stuff will have to get powered a different way. Let's just take this across. No harm, no foul. I think we're good. So this is probably going to be some sort of entrance up here. Like that. Not a big one, just, just a way to come in and out. And so that means I'm probably going to stick with that panel as where the iron comes in. Obviously it is very messy right now and not at all what I would want. Uh, I don't need any of this. I guess I could have brought the power in there too. So the belts are probably going to come in there. We've got two iron, coal, and concrete that all have to come in this side. So I fear we could probably do nice clean section there. I don't mind if it comes in a little high. We can probably just do something um, with a floor hole in this section. If that works, it might not. We've got six meters here, which is proving to be a real pain. I don't think I'm going to do that again. So we can have it come down, or I could have it come in high. And where is this as far as height goes? This is the thing where I really wish they would give us like a vertical coordinate in the game. So I can stop doing stuff like this. So if we brought it in at this height, I might want to change the height of this, and that's totally doable. Yeah, so that doesn't line up quite the way that I would want it to. And this is too high anyway, because I did not grab the right spot. I think what I need to do is decide on the height of these um, uh, Transformers MMO. Um, I don't know if it's an MMO. I feel like a Transformers universe is maybe like a mobile game or something. I wish they had a Transformers MMO. My gosh, that would be crazy fun. They don't do very well with Transformers video games. It's been a long time since they had a good one. Transformers War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron were two of the best Transformers games ever. Am I on a two meter here? I am. Where's there's my four meter world grid. Um, I wanted to come in on the four meter.
that's probably the right height. If I was to guess. How good of a guess was that? One meter off. Oh no, wait. The... It's really hard to tell. I think I deleted the little... Oh no, the poles are still there. Where Can I see the poles? Oh my gosh, sometimes the Blade Runners are just infuriating. Like, I, I just want to stand still. I would delete that. Yeah, okay, this is the right height if I wanted to keep this at this height. Okay. So this would come in over here. And then I could have the other stuff come in underneath it. And that could be on the bottom, and that's fine. Uh, and I think that could look kind of cool. So we'll see what that might look like. Three meters, so we'll do... So the iron will come in at the top and have to get load balanced. And then the coal will probably come in roughly where it is. I'll just fix the belt. And then we'll move the concrete to come in here. This is probably going to end up being a half foundation so that I have a little bit of room in here. Unless I want to put it... Um, no, I think that's good. That's iron. This will be... Which goes where? Which way? Concrete goes under the floor. And the iron can probably stay up a little bit higher. goes directly in there so this I can actually just change the direction this I can just turn around and probably be yeah that should be fine so I can grab this um, I don't know I don't even know if I needed that it was probably just used to oh I probably was future proofing so we'll bring this coming in this way Oh, is the coal even going to come in over here? Well, it is for now. I'll worry about the rest later. Uh, oh, was this a smart splitter? Can I not? What is going on? Weird. Okay. Cool concept. If I made it like Overwatch or something more fast paced, they could incorporate transforming and driving, flying in a meaningful way. It could be fun. There was multiplayer in Cybertron, um, War for Cybertron. It was really cool. Uh, Sea Peak, thank, uh, thank you ever so much for being here. Have a good evening. I know some of you that were watching Total, it's probably a late night. So I appreciate you sticking around. Um, so this is going to come in from the top. How am I going to handle this? So 
so this is just the default one line. So this would be this line here. And then the other line is the one that I've got to split. I think I can do that if I make that a merger. There'll have to be a merger somewhere here. Uh, for folks that might be not following, uh, I've got a drive sheet. So I've got um, 480 ingots is what's going into the rest of our iron production. So not screws, but like everything else, 480 is divided into 240 and 240. But out of the smelter, it's two 450 belts. So I've got to take a little bit off of one of these 450 and throw it onto the other one to make 480. It's not hard. I just don't have the space for it right now. And that flows into all the production that's happening in the factory. So right now, the this iron line that's split, this is only 450 and it needs to be 480. I have the rest. I've got another 450 sitting right here doing nothing. I just have to balance it out. Oh, thanks, um, Sunrise. Yeah. Um, I I don't think I've shared it yet, but it's uh, I've been sharing it with people in the dis Discord or, or certainly made the offer to for people that want to check it out. There's no formulas. It's all just um, math in my head that I've written down. I've used the sheet to do some math, but there's no formulas that automatically populate anything. So there's that. Uh, let's get the concrete out of the way. Because I know that's going to have to be a thing. Uh... This is going to have to be tight to the wall, I guess. And that will just come in here. This is the height that I decided on. Yeah, because that's the extra two meters. Okay. Sometimes I wish these lifts would be a little bit um, smaller. However, we can always just run it down. Gonna let me. not enough. Well, so much for that. course I put you on top that would be would be useful if I put you on something level there's gonna be a lot of redoing this anyway I'm sure
So that will get that flowing again, even though it's not going to look very good inside. At least it's working. And out of my vision here. So this can go... This monstrosity can go... Not that. Just this. That's one part done. Uh, coal is as where it's going to be. And if we decide to keep them here, we could probably mirror them so that they look like they're going to look nice. And then these will take up top. And I don't think it matters which one I use. It's probably going to be easier to split the one on the right. Because I'll have the room here to do it. So this is the one that should probably feed directly into that splitter, and it might even be lined up as if I planned it. It might even be as if I planned it. I didn't. I 100% did not. So that'll just run in there, uh, which means I can run this along, at least for now. This is the one that's already juking and jiving, and that's fine. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and then I'll just put one here. I think this is how I did this before. I think if I just delete this one, then we can use the blueprint. Is that the right height? Let's use the deadline to experiment with. That looks straight to me. Oh, I like it when a plan comes together. Except that. Except that I did not think about that. <laughs> when I designed that blueprint, I did not put them at the right distance apart for this. I really would like to just land. It's fine. It'll look okay in the end. I've got the same sort of problem happening over there. It's like a big fork. So, that'll do. Um, actually, if I change the build mode, I wonder if it looks a little bit better. That's the straight. Oh, no. So, the best thing to do is probably to... Yeah, that gets rid of the wobble. Uh-oh. Oh, it's because I got stuff in there. Fine. What's in there? Where was that? There. Cool. That comes in. And then from here, we have to do something funky. I can actually just uh, quickly redirect this so I can put uh, that goes there. Are you getting stuff? No. Um, there's no time for furniture. The factory must grow. <laughs> Fix-It provides all the furnishings the Pioneer could ever need in the hub. <laughs> nice. Devastator was your favorite. Nice. Um, I don't think I have a Devastator board sheet right now. Uh, do I? No, that's Ironhide. Um, I don't even have any images of Devastator. If you go to my VODs channel, Joe Logan VODs, you can, anything that says Satisfactory Devastator as the title, then you can see the other massive build. Devastator, my factory in, that's Devastator, takes up the entire main area, biome in the Rocky Desert. Like, it's huge. It keeps crashing though. 
I would like to be back. I'd like to be back to it, but right now we're just kind of doing this because this I can stream for hours doing this and it doesn't crash. That's right. So that comes in here like that. That should just autofill. 450. There we go. That seems slow to me. I don't know if I've maybe. Is there a belt that's not the right speed? No, I think we're good. Okay, so then we need to delete this nonsense. Happy to have that gone. And I will refuse to leave this floating in the air. It's like a Minecraft tree. Looking a little bit nicer now. I like what Total did on his playthrough with all the um, the the belt lines and the design of everything. I think it looks really cool. I don't know whether we're going to keep it white or red. Like I haven't decided on the color, so we're just going to leave it the way that it is right now. I got to remember that right now belt height is at the fourth one up. So now we have to pull, um, oops, that was jarring. I've got to pull 30 off of that and that's easy, it's just a matter of where we do it. And I have to send it to this, so we'll do a merger somewhere up there. This is just going to be in the way. So this will come down to at least here. Um, it might be actually worth going a little bit higher just to have a splitter here. So if I have this, that would take the 450. I could then pull off just 30 by taking 60. Run 60 into another splitter, which will then go into the merger after I split it again. That is a splitter and needs to stay a splitter. No, uh, that can be anywhere. I could move that over. That has That's splitting the iron to the other location, I think. Yes, okay. So, Uh, the Constructicons? Yeah. Do you know? I, do I know why it keeps crashing? No. Uh, I've been working with a generous community member that's taken their time to help me troubleshoot my computer. It seems to only crash when I stream, and so it looks like it's probably um, something inefficient with Satisfactory that crashes Satisfactory while I'm streaming. It doesn't seem to crash when I play on my own. This save doesn't crash at all, so it's got something to do, I think, with like hypertube rendering or some sort of belt rendering. So I was hoping that one of the new um, uh, updates that they made to Satisfactory since 1.0 would help it. I haven't had a chance to test it. I just got so frustrated with it crashing randomly that I decided to put my time and the attention to this new save. Uh, I was getting a lot of good feedback about the new save. So this is kind of like why I'm still doing it. Um, so we need another splitter. That will take off. So this is taking off 60. I think I have to do this over here. So I'll bring in 60 goes to there. 
I need a merger here. So I'll split this again. Then I can't hook that back up again. Yikes. Like I said, easy when you have the space. I could also just do an overflow splitter. I've got smart splitters. Uh, that is probably the easiest thing to do. I would say that is probably the easiest thing to do. So if I grab one of those, and then just take this across to there, I can put a merger right there. And I can do a smart splitter right across from it, which is sacrilege, but. And I can just do. Oops. Iron ingots. And then. Overflow. No. Get that backwards. Iron ingots this way. Wow. Can't type. And then overflow. So this will just put whatever it needs that way. And I'll just use a little belt. So it'll attempt to make 60. I really don't like doing these little belts because I find them very hard to troubleshoot. And then the rest of this, I just have to keep flowing somewhere. And I don't know how we're going to get it over there. I think I got that backwards now. Now that I think about it. Get your first train running route while I was lurking. Very cool. We'll run for fun. That's awesome. Uh, if I rename the train, will it mess up a route? I forgot to rename it from train. No, the routes are based on the train stations. Um, so the train itself should be fine. The one from Transformers 2 was awesome, but the original is classic. It was the first combiner or whatever they started calling them later um, when the other ones started coming out. Yeah, I know the combiners are really cool. Um, what is the combiner? I had a really weird combiner when I was a kid. It had like a two-headed dragon and a bunch of like, there's a manta ray. It was it was a weird one. Um, I liked um, Triptychon, maybe. Uh, even renaming a station doesn't mess up a route. However, deleting and rebuilding it will. Cool. Um, Angolmo? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, thanks for the info. Still have an Optimus Prime somewhere? Me too. I have an original die-cast metal Optimus Prime. He's missing hands, but I absolutely have one. Lost the trailer and the fists years ago. I still have the trailer. I just don't have the fists. So I think I maybe did this backwards. I think maybe um, I have to do this one um, going into there. That's a splitter. I have to change the direction on that. So I'll do Mark 4 into that. That's 450. I have to redo this, unfortunately. And then I'll do um, this is a splitter. So then I have to do another splitter in here. But I can block it with Smart Splitter. Why does that not work? 
Oh, because I can't connect it there. That's fine. I can just do... I'll just do this. here and then this does iron ingots to the left and I guess overflow is going to be to the right and then middle is going to be none and then we just connect this up it only needs 30 that should be right. And then unfortunately we need to do a belt here. And then the other belt should be 450 minus 30 is still 420. So we need still need a big belt. And that just has to go to here. And this is just facing the wrong way, I think. I guess I can just don't know if this is gonna work. How close can I get this? Pretty close. And that does not need to be a smart splitter. And then I'll work out the other ratios after that. That's fine. So that should now be spending the right amount both belts I think and I don't need any of this which is good so once again we've got 450 coming down this line we're sending ingots to the left into this merger which is merging Attempting to merge 60, um, taking this to um, 490, which it can't do. It's only going to go up to 480. No. Yeah, it would only go 480. So it's it should be a full belt. I don't know why it's stuttering, though. Because it should be... Oh, did I pull from the wrong one? I pulled from the wrong one. Oh, right. Okay. This splitter should be connecting to that one. And then this I've got to run somewhere else. Right. I forgot about that. Okay. We just need to redo this again. Uh, and that's fine. I'll just put this here. I wish that you could rotate the splitters sometimes. It'd be nice. Don't know why I keep on making smart splitters by accident. And this is splitting 480 into 240. This needs to be a regular belt. That could be a regular belt. That should go smoothly. Uh, now this unfortunately is just stuck until I can find a place to dump it into an awesome sink. So let's go through that again. We've got um, 
450 and 450. We've got an over we've got a ingot going this way with overflow going the other way, which means that this should only take what it needs, which is 30. So that makes this a 480. 480 goes in here and gets split into 240 and 240 as per our sheet. And then I just need to get rid of this. I do find my inventory is filling up a lot lately. I don't know where I get the extra concrete. It just seems to come in. Probably from the depot. Yeah. Okay. So that's flowing. And that should be exactly what we want. And then out here, things are way, way, way nicer. Minus all this nonsense. I just need to get rid of that and that. So now when we go to design the side and the back of the building, we've got a much cleaner look as to what this is going to be. I don't mind the windows, actually. That's kind of cool. Gives us a pattern we can kind of work with. I don't know if that's going to stay. We'll have to figure out what's happening with the actual roof. You could be mixing it up with another one. I, I still have all of them. I It's the one toy I did not get rid of as all of my Transformers. I, I absolutely kept them. So I'm, Im I'm imagining a lot more of these in this biome as we get more... Um, resources um they won't be coming here they'll be going to their own factories but i'm pretty happy with the way things are going i still need to figure out how to work on this shape but it's cool like it's not it's different i've not done anything like it before it's one of the things i like about satisfactory is challenging yourself so yeah i i might get rid of some of them i still have like beast wars transformers too so, but I was an 80s kid, you know, like it, it really, it, they were fun toys. Click take from inventory before depot keeps inventory less cluttered. Oh, thanks, Will. I'll check, I'll check that out. Yeah, so I, I do want to try and make it look a little bit more like um, it looks like, like a clear representation of Wheeljack. Um, I'm happier with the left. Sorry, I'm happier with the top floor left and I prefer the bottom right like I, I like this stuff so and we can mimic that I just had I just didn't do it over here so we can do that um but I like that we can see this shape here and I might try to do that over here more and then I don't know what's going to happen here I don't like the box here I'll have to see what I can come up with for that it might mean some funny trickery in here I don't know it's hard to say um, sometimes I need a little bit of time off stream just to kind of like mess around with this um, but I do like the overall vibe for a place that we're gonna be spending a lot of time where we have our storage we've got kind of like this atrium look we've got all of our storage up here we're gonna have some small things happening over here either manually or perhaps automated. Oh, cool, we got lots of silica now, awesome. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to manually feed stuff up here. If I do, I might have to like repurpose this back corner to get a few things up there because we don't have much for lanes. We've got a little bit of room in the middle here um, and we do have some room there. I just don't think I want to have like items going up and across. I think I'd like to have this be nice and open. Uh, but it's it's getting there and it's certainly functioning like we certainly have all the things we need I can start to do train networks. I can start to do all the things I want to now that I've got motors automated um, We're gonna need to do a little bit more work with the computers because I would like to get railway signaling unlocked But everything else we're basically doing so I'm pretty happy with this and uh, I'm really happy that everyone from the total eclipse raid was was uh, able to stick around for a little bit uh, I really appreciate it uh, I'm going to look for somebody else to pass you along to because uh, this is where I need to wrap up because I am starving and I need to put pizza in my face. 
and let's just see who's streaming that we might be able to pass you along to. If you are a satisfactory player and you have someone that you would like to recommend, I'm happy to um, spread things around a little bit if you want. Uh, I don't have very many playing satisfactory right now, just Cub fan, and I don't know that he likes the game all that much. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, I've got um, Devin Aubrey. I've got Zistu. I'm not sure if there's anybody that you recognize. Uh, and Skittish were bus. I don't know about any of these folks, whether they're family friendly, whatever. Um, Snuggly Bear, you're very welcome. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, this was a fun stream. A little late for me on a Saturday. I don't normally do this late, but you know. Uh, I guess we'll pass you along to Cub Fan. Um, I have to rate a run, so I won't be able to stick around. Uh, but uh, thanks ever so much again. Uh, if you want to check out some of the other things that I do, you can follow me at joelduggan.com or joelduggan on social media. Very easy to find. Uh, you can look forward to new podcasts uh, or at least new podcast episodes. Uh, Johnny and I from the Spun Chunks guested on the Imp and Skiz podcast. That's Imp and Skiz podcast on YouTube. Uh, the episode obviously is not out yet. They still have to edit it and publish it in, in their schedule. So uh, look for that. I'll be tweeting about it. I'll mention it here on stream when it goes live as well. Had a fantastic conversation with those guys. Really good chaps. I, I quite like them. Uh, you can check out the Spun Chunks podcast as well as the Citadel Cafe podcast. All of them are linked from joelduggan.com. I'm super easy to find online. Uh, I really appreciate all the support and the help today. Uh, thanks, Cosmic, for lurking and modding. I, I know that you've got a lot on your plate at home right now. And uh, I will hopefully see a lot of you next time. I know there was a lot of follows today after the uh, Total Eclipse raid. Uh, I stream Satisfactory almost every day. I, I'm taking tomorrow off. And I'll be back again on Tuesday because Monday I record a new podcast. So... Starting Tuesday, we'll be back in. Uh, I'll be mixing in more Minecraft, I think, next week. But you can see us uh, in Satisfactory again as we work on these Transformers builds. Hopefully, I might even give Devastator a try and see if I can get back into that save. But there's just so much to do, uh, and the crashing was a little bit frustrating. So we'll see what I can do. I want to at least finish this factory and get, um, and get Wheeljack up and running. Uh, if you want, on the last VOD or maybe the VOD that's on YouTube right now at Joel Duggan VODs, I did a quick run through of my Metroplex save. So Metroplex is a big build that I did in this biome uh, with like a Transformers logo on it and a bunch of different stuff. And we got up to about Staters and Motors again on that save, but the building was just so big that I ended up realizing I would be better off spending time in Devastator. So anyway, uh, I really appreciate all the views. Uh, hopefully I'll see more of you more frequently here in the chat. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, enjoy your time with Cubfan135. Uh, he's a great streamer. Uh, he is new to Satisfactory, so uh, be patient. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.